Chapter 17 And in those days, in the ninety-first year of the life of Abram, the children of Chittim made war with the children of Tubal. For when the Lord had scattered the sons of men upon the face of the earth, the children of Chittim went and embodied themselves in the plain of Canopia, and they built themselves cities there, and dwelt by the river Tebru. And the children of Tubal dwelt in Tuscana, and their boundaries reached the river Tebru. And the children of Tubal built the city in Tuscana, and they called the name Sabina, after the name of Sabina, son of Tubal, their father. And they dwelt there unto this day. And it was at that time that the children of Chittim made war with the children of Tubal. And the children of Tubal were smitten before the children of Chittim. And the children of Chittim caused three hundred and seventy men to fall from the children of Tubal. And at the time the children of Tubal swore to the children of Chittim, saying, You shall not intermarry amongst us, and no man shall give his daughter to any of the sons of Chittim. For all the daughters of Tubal were in those days fair, for no women were then found in the whole earth so fair as the daughters of Tubal. And all who delighted in the beauty of women went to the daughters of Tubal and took wives from them. And the sons of men, kings and princes, who greatly delighted in the beauty of women, took wives in those days from the daughters of Tubal. And at the end of three years, after the children of Tubal had sworn to the children of Chittim not to give them their daughters for wives, about twenty men of the children of Chittim went to take some of the daughters of Tubal, but they found none. For the children of Tubal kept their oath not to intermarry with them, and they would not break their oaths. And in the days of harvest, the children of Tubal went into their fields to get in their harvest. When the young men of Chittim assembled and went to the city of Sabina, and each man took a young woman from the daughters of Tubal, and they came to their city. And the children of Tubal heard of it, and they went to make war with them, and they could not prevail over them, for the mountain was exceedingly high from them. And when they saw they could not prevail over them, they returned to their land. And at the revolution of the year, the children of Tubal went and hired about ten thousand men from those cities that were near them, and they went to war with the children of Chittim. And the children of Tubal went to war with the children of Chittim to destroy their land and to distress them. And in this engagement, the children of Tubal prevailed over the children of Chittim. And the children of Chittim, seeing that they were greatly distressed, lifted up the people which they had had by the daughters of Tubal upon the wall which had been built to be before the eyes of the children of Tubal. And the children of Chittim said to them, have you come to make war with your own sons and daughters? And have we not been considered your flesh and bones from that time till now? And when the children of Tubal heard this, they ceased to make war with the children of Chittim, and they went away. And they returned to their cities, and the children of Chittim at that time assembled and built two cities by the sea, and they called one Pertu and the other Ariza. And Abram, the son of Terah, was then ninety-nine years old. At that time the Lord appeared to him, and he said to him, I will make my covenant between me and thee, and I will greatly multiply thy seed. And this is the covenant which I make between me and thee, that every male child be circumcised, thou and thy seed after thee. At eight days old shall it be circumcised, and this covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And now therefore thy name shall no more be called Abram, but Abraham. And thy wife shall no more be called Sarai, but Sarah. For I will bless you both, and I will multiply your seed after you, that you shall become a great nation, and kings shall come forth from you.